definitely do this. Yeah. Wow. Almost there. Yeah. I'm powering up. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That was too easy. Let's stay alert. Who else wants some? Bunch of jokers. Are you that? And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your Majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to... Melia? And the young man. Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. 
The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired? <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now? Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better.
Yes? Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than twenty years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. Uh, her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess.
The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melly not like other bird people. Melly like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that! We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Ah. Oh. Nice one, Ryan. Ryan, 
Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life, or death, is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Ryan. But Dumban! This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happened to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. 
I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. <laughs> 